Thank you, Father Carney, Father Becker, Reverend Fathers, any honored guests, and my brothers. So I never actually had the opportunity to meet my priest hero. However, his one yes to Jesus impacted my life in so many amazing ways. In keeping with the trend of being the rector's pet, um, <laughs> my priest hero is former SJV rector, the late Father Bill Bear. The first of many impacts Father Bear had on my life happened before I was even born. In one of his first marriages as a priest, Father Bear married my parents. Mom and Dad tell how he took a personal interest in them. Rather than just going through a checklist and signing the marriage certificate, Father Bear actually prayed with my parents. And he talked about the importance of raising their future children in the faith. The fruits of his work can still be seen as my sisters and I grew up in immensely fertile soil, going to Mass every week, growing up in a prayerful household, and being sent to a Catholic school. His heroic intentionality is something that I hope to imitate in my own priesthood. A few years after marrying my parents, Father Bear was named the rector of this place, St. John Vianney College Seminary. Many of the things that we assume have always been here are in place because of this priest's docility to the Holy Spirit. When he started here at SJV, he introduced many new ideas. Things like last chance mass, virtuous business leaders, Lanza Laban, fraternal groups, our pledge and our prayer, and more all come from Father Bear's implementation. I mean, seriously, imagine SJV without any of those things. Most importantly, when Father Bear started here, there were two optional holy hours a week he put in place the daily communal holy hour that we all enjoy today. SJV has given me personally so much. It has allowed me to grow into the man God has called me to be, a man in Christ, of the church, and for others. And this immense gift in many ways comes from our amazing formators acting in the structure that Father Bear put in place. His vision and ability to implement what God asked of him is inspiring. However, it was not always smooth sailing for Father Bear. In his first two years here, he saw enrollment go from 90 guys down to 30. This place was on the verge of closing. And it would have been easy for a guy in his shoes to second guess all the changes that he made. However, Father Bear's deep trust in the Lord allowed him to stay the course. So in time, the Lord revealed the beautiful fruit of Father Bear's work. And by the time he left, this place was busting at the seams and sending holy men into the world. Many of the priests who I look up to, Father Joe Zabinski, Father Nathan Le Liberté, or Father Paul Shovlin, they were all formed by Father Bear. And his faith inspires me to always trust in Jesus' plan, regardless of how difficult it might seem. Father Bear was not a cookie-cutter priest, and yet his ability to allow God to work through him impacted thousands of souls. Being one who isn't a cookie-cutter seminarian myself, I look to him as an amazing example of what it means to say yes to Jesus. Father Bear was notorious for doing unexpected yet admirable things. Imagine this. One Ash Wednesday morning here at SJV, all the seminarians at 6 a.m. gather in the lobby to say the Angelus, and when they finish, those big doors swing open, and in they walk. Every chair in this chapel is gone. Overnight, Father Bear removed all the chairs from the chapel so that in communal penance, they could spend Holy Hour and Mass on the floor together. Father Bear's ability to be authentically who God made him to be and to be bold for the gospel has been encouraging for me to reflect on and a great source of hope. In January of 2018, Father Bear unexpectedly passed away. And even in his death, this man's priesthood affected my life. For my first entire year of seminary, my mom was unsure about the prospect of me becoming a priest. She's a hospice nurse, so she had the reasonable fear that I could die alone. But that fear was overcome on a snowy January afternoon at Father Bear's funeral. While I myself was unable to attend, because I was at Broomtree, um, my parents were both there in the Pax Cathedral. My mom recalls that at a certain point at the funeral, 
someone was up front sharing about Father Bear's legacy. And the sharer invited all the SJV alumni present, ordained and married, to stand up and sing one final Lanza Laban for Father Bear. All these men, each deeply impacted by this man's priesthood, filled the cathedral with a deep masculine chant, belting out the words with sincere love for Father Bear. And as this unfolded, my mom was overcome by the Holy Spirit. She told me that this was the first time that she no longer feared my call to priesthood. Many people he impacted, he impacted their lives, and including my mom and I. And today I'm happy to say that my mom is my number one supporter. In conclusion, Father Bear's one yes to Jesus impacted and continues to impact thousands of souls including every single man sitting in this room. That's heroic. His priesthood reached so far as to transform the life of a boy who lived 40 miles away who he'd never actually meet. And if my priesthood could be a fraction as impactful, that'll be a life well lived. Father Bear, as you look down upon us, I have confidence that you continue to intercede for my parents' marriage, my priestly vocation, this seminary, and every man gathered in this room. You are my priest hero, and long may you live in the glory of heaven. Praise be Jesus Christ. Now and forever.